What is up guys? You're probably wondering why I've not uploaded in a while. It's because of multiple reasons I don't want to talk about in this video. Today we're going to be looking at the be 7 best mouses for Minecraft PvP. Now you've probably seen a bunch of people using these mouses. You're probably your favorite streamers are using these mouses for other games as well. So let's get into it. The first off is the mouse that I have that is super good for butterfly kicking because both the, both the same buttons, the right click button and the left click button are huge. So it's great for butterfly clicking and great for other things and some has some drag it's called the razor death adder 2 i have it right here this is what it looks like in real life so razor death adder 2 has focus plus 20k dpi optical sensor which is super good for minecraft pvp like so good for just spam clicking your mouse now now for other mouses we can get into it in uh, it has three times faster than me traditional mechanical switches, and the RGB lighting is really cool. It actually, if you have a uh, if you have a razor keyboard, you have a you have. A Logitech G102. Now, I don't really like Logitech as a brand because of how small their mouses can be for gaming. My hands are really big, so they would not fi fit around the Logitech G102. Now, in benefits for PvP and Minecraft, you can click really fast with it. It and the RGB lighting is also really cool. It has a mechanical spring button tensioning, which is really good for Axe PvP. And it has a really good gaming software, which is pro optional for some people that don't want to deal with the gaming software stuff. The next one up is the Red Dragon Cobra in 7-Eleven. Now, I like these types Eat. of mouses, like the Glorious Model O and the Red Jabber Dragon Cobra. Mem 711, just based on their design and how they are made. <coughs> it is basically, it's really good for targeting, aiming, slashing, and attacking. A really good professional gaming mouse for anyone. Now, I don't know the price range for most of these mouses, but some of them are pretty high priced. So, if you want a cheaper mouse, you should go for either a, n a, a really, like, the same game mouse. Because for a long time, I was using really cheap mouses that cost, like, 20 bucks on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. But they ju work just fine for gaming. They work great. So, I'm not saying don't buy these mouses. These mouses still enhance your gaming. But they are really good. But if you are ch if you are on a budget, then a cheap mouse on Amazon usually goes for fifteen to twenty dollars, and is still pretty good for gaming. So let's get into the next model of mouses. It is the Glorious Model O, which almost every one of the streamers out there uses. N one of the most popular, you probably know who he is. Ninja uses it. Bugga and all these different creators use it for gaming. It's really light because of the honeycomb design and <clears throat> is really good for fitting your hand. It, it it's really it has a really flexible cable, which for some mouses they do not have that because some mouses like I've I saw someone ha that has a the worst flexible cable mouse. The cable literally would stop him from doing some things like moving the mouse too far in the corner or anything like that, which is really bad for high high sensitive players or I mean low sensitive players. The next and the sixth the sixth one right before we get to our last mouse is the Corsair Iron Claw. It is the rated one of the best 
PvP mouses for gaming in Minecraft. But the thing is though, I did not like the, it's really heavy. And you know it says lightweight body, only 105 grams total weight that helps every gamer to move it faster and get over your enemies in the games like PvP. But, from based on experience and being told from my friend, it is really heavy. When you try and pick it off your desk, when you have to move your mouse back, if you're on a low sensitive player like me, I would never be able to do it. It's really heavy. After two out an hour of gaming, the my hand would be cramped from moving the mouse back. So let's get on to the next mouse on the list. It's the final mouse, and it's actually a pretty good one. It's a St Steel Series Rival 600. Now, Steel Series is a really good mount, really good brand. They make headsets. I actually have one of their headsets over in at, at my house at my house right now uh they make really good keyboards and i i could say they make pretty good mouses they are really good for minecraft and p pvp like f and other games like fortnite csgo and valorant that's it for this video i thank you so much for watching guys uh make sure to subscribe with post notifications on and like the video I know I haven't uploaded in a while, so this is the first video. I'm hoping to keep going with videos and go do really good on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Peace. Subscribe. Bye-bye.